Meet Susan, an aspiring painter. She wishes to conduct an online painting exhibition for all her digital artworks. However, as the exhibition is online, she is worried that her paintings won't be secure as anyone could easily forge or replicate them. Her friend Mark came to her rescue with an idea of NFT. He suggested that Susan could buy NFTs for all her paintings as NFTs are trustworthy, easily transferable, and will also maintain her ownership rights on her artworks. Susan had no idea what NFTs were, so Mark stepped ahead and explained it to her. NFTs turn your digital assets into one of a kind by creating a unique digital signature, which defines the ownership of your assets and that can be bought and sold for real money, cryptocurrency, or any other asset, like a non-fungible token, aka NFT. Non-fungible tokens means that they are not interchangeable, and each of them represents unique assets owned by a specific person. On the other hand, fungible tokens are interchangeable and can be divided into smaller units to form the same value. For example, a $100 bill is fungible, as you can exchange it with five $20 bills or two $50 bills. But the painting of The Last Supper is non-fungible, as it cannot be generated in bulk. Even if it is copied, it will not be authentic. Each NFT contains distinguishable information like who owns the digital asset and who sold it, making them distinct and easily verifiable. As it is impossible to forge such a certificate, it will secure her painting's originality. After learning what NFT is, Susan was curious to know how exactly NFT works. NFT basically creates a blockchain-based digital certificate for your digital collectibles, including games, music, art, and many more. This certificate gives your artwork a unique identity. The underlying technology and the programming language used by NFTs are the same as other cryptocurrencies, such as blockchain and the programming language Ethash, or Script. NFT majorly exists on Ethereum blockchain, a distributed public ledger that records all the transactions. However, NFT is quite different from these cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin and Ethereum are fungible tokens, which means if you trade Bitcoin or Ethereum for one another, you will have the same value or item in return, basically money. On the other hand, NFT is a unique token. Therefore, if you try to trade it, you may end up with something completely different in your hands. CryptoPunks is a remarkable example of NFT. It enables you to buy, sell, and store 10,000 collectibles with the proof of ownership being stored on the Ethereum blockchain. After exploring how NFTs work, Susan was convinced and bought NFTs for all her paintings. Due to this, her artworks were secured from any kind of forgery and also gave her artworks a particular value. This contributed to increased sales too, as everyone was easily able to buy the artwork without any fear. All in all, her exhibition was a complete success. Similarly, NFT has proved itself to be a boon in the lives of many others, like Jack Dorsey, the CEO and co-founder of Twitter with his very first and famous tweet, just setting up my Twitter, and Vignesh Sundarasan, famously known as Medikovan, who bought $69.3 million worth of NFT art on Beeple. Owing to its increasing popularity, people are now willing to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for NFTs. NFT has enhanced media exposure and special perks for aspiring artists like Susan on social media. This popularity of NFT creates new opportunities for new art platforms, motivating people to buy art from internet platforms and promoting copyright or originality of digital assets. So here is a question for you. What makes any item non-fungible? A. Exchangeability B. Unique digital signature C. Tradeability D distributed public ledger. Please give it a thought and drop your answers in the comments section below. Three lucky winners will receive Amazon gift vouchers. Many experts in the crypto industry say that around 40% of new crypto users will use NFTs as their entry point. As a result of its growing popularity, NFT could represent a more significant part of the digital economy in the future. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Here's your reminder to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more on the latest technologies and trends. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.